Hello Leo, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how your person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So let's get into this. Guardian Angels, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, and the Masters. Please be sure to bring in the line. I just would do this reading for Leo. Please make clear and honest messages for Leo. <coughs> Okay, so if you're coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. And if you're curious to know why that is, I did upload a video just explaining why I don't read reversals. So I'll link it at the end for you. <clears throat> but let's see, spirit. How does this person feel? about Leo. How does this person feel? Okay, so we are getting the Seven of Swords. Um, tell me more. The Six of Wands. I feel like there's someone who's very proud here. <clears throat> someone who um, is very much operating in their ego. Yeah, so I feel like this is someone here who could be sneaky, could be deceptive, um, <clears throat> very independent, especially financially. I feel like they're probably like working towards financial stability here for themselves. They could be someone who's kind of always at work. Um, this is someone who likes their independence. So my throat keeps, <coughs> excuse me, feeling like I have to cough. A lot, I feel like this person doesn't say what they need to say. Um, they could get choked up when they're explaining something. I feel like it's because they're telling partial truths here. In other words, lying. Um, I feel like this person, yeah, they're very much in their ego operated based here. So this is someone who, they, they could hide behind material things as well. Um, Let's see what they're deceptive. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. What are they not being truthful about? This is someone who really enjoys their independence. Doesn't want to be tied down, so to speak. Um, the Death card. So they could have been deceptive about an ending elsewhere. Uh, could it be with the Scorpio? Tell me more about the Seven of Swords and Death. The Knight of Swords. So there could have been something that they did impulsively here that they kind of didn't really think about they just went ahead and did it um but they could have also said that it's over it's ended but it doesn't feel like that's the case here it feels like this person here's the thing i feel like when they give you information what they're telling you is the truth but there's more to it right partial truths is what i was saying so they'll tell you oh okay yeah, i haven't i don't know i haven't seen them since last week which could be the truth, or I haven't seen them since two weeks ago, which is the truth, but they just were on the phone with them the night before, right? So it's like, they are saying that they didn't see them, which is the truth, but there's more to it. That's kind of how it's coming across here. So only take that if it resonates here. Um, I feel like this message isn't resonating with you because it feels very specific. Definitely check out your other placements, but it just feels like they're being um, deceptive about some sort of ending here. Is there anything about that death card? Yeah, it's, it's some sort of physical connection here. Something that they said was maybe just physical, that it was impulsive, that it was it was spur of the moment, it, it like didn't mean anything. Those things could be true, but I feel like they're still in contact with this person. It's not fully over the way that they're saying that it's over here. That's how it's coming through here. You know, Leo, I don't necessarily like this type of energy when it comes through but i always feel like when spirit is bringing this message forward it's kind of like a heads up 
right? Because I do feel like this person's deceptive. I feel like they're good at um, they're good at lying. Partial truths. I just keep hearing partial truths. Um, if your intuition is kicking in when this person's telling you something and they're like stuttering over their words or their throat, they have to clear their throat a lot, like pay attention to those behaviors because I feel like it's a sign that this person's not being fully truthful. Um, I feel like, again, they're very much in their ego. So they're just kind of worried about like what's good for them right now is how it feels. Um, this person really likes their independence. They could be a Scorpio. They could be an, an, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or even a fire, Aries, Leo, Sag, like yourself. <clears throat> let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks could be a little less could be a little more okay so yeah they're coming on in with messages here they're definitely going to be flirtatious i feel like you could feel like this person's immature um they could be younger than you as well i just feel like this person has a lot of learning to do i mean we all do but i feel like when it comes to connections this person is how do i put that they just come off like very inexperienced like but they're they're just operating from their ego it just feels like they're they're not worried about anyone but themselves is how it comes across here my sage is still going there's energy that needs to clear here within this person right like it's like they it's like a blockage right like they need to but if someone doesn't know that something's a blockage then they're not going to work towards clearing it they're not going to work towards fixing it Right, so it kind of feels like this person is doing what they're doing and they're, they're like, what's the issue? I'm not seeing what the issue is. Um, right, so that's the first step. If you become aware of something that needs to be changed is you have to acknowledge that it needs to be changed in the first place. I feel like this person doesn't do that. But they're definitely coming in with messages for you here, very flirtatious energy. Um, we do have the two of pentacles. They're, they're going back and forth. They're juggling something here, the hermit. So they could have ghosted. Um, so... They, they could have ghosted you and now they're kind of juggling whether or not to come forward or not. They could also kind of do this thing where they message and then they ghost again. Like I'm kind of seeing it's like they, they talk, you feel like, okay, we're gonna have a conversation, like we'll see where this goes and then all of a sudden they ghost again. Um, I feel like it leaves you feeling confused and it leaves you feeling frustrated. Um, they could be a Virgo as well. Yeah, I feel like this person goes back and forth between reaching out, talking, messaging, being flirty, and then kind of retreating and going MIA again. Um, tell me about the hermit. <clears throat> yeah, the devil. So this is someone who knows what they're doing. Capricorn energy. This is someone who I feel as soon as things get difficult or there's like a difficult conversation to be had or something that they don't like about the conversation or what have you, or if they get caught in a lie, they ghost right this is their way of handling it it's almost like they and i i feel like this is also speaking to the fact that again they're very much operating from their ego the virgo the virgo the hermit is a very wise energy it's a very spiritual energy it's someone who goes deep within takes time to reflect spends time alone right this is also the type of person that jumps from connection to connection there's no space there's no time to reflect there's no time to get to know yourself I feel like this person is lacking in their spiritual uh, health, I'll call it, their well-being. I feel like they're not in tune with their spirituality in the sense that, um, and maybe not, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it just feels like this person is very much in, what's just coming to mind is like the movie The Matrix, right? They're kind of reminding me of that person, that one guy in The Matrix who took the pill, sees what the world is really about, but then is like, no, I want to go back. I want to eat my steak. Like, I, I just want to, I don't care that it's a, a messed up world where we're all being controlled. Like, I just want to go back. I feel like this person is kind of like that. Like, they're, they're just like, they could be very much materially uh, inclined. Like, they could be flashy with what they have. Um, but this is just someone who's, who's experiencing an emotional or a spiritual block here, right? So even if their guides, their angels, what have you, are trying to like, nudge them into the direction of becoming more aware that was weird something just fell as soon as i said like nudge them something it's like their guides are trying to get their attention but they're not paying attention to it it's like a blockage here like they're they're blocking it out the, the sage is still going. This needs to be cleared from this person. And this is not something, I don't know who needs to hear this, Leo, but this is not something that, that you can fix, right? The, these are things that each individual has to go through on their own and it's their own journey. And when they're ready, they'll do it, 
right? Because they feel like this person can be very charming, but they're not truthful. And I feel like they go back and forth here. It's like one minute they're flirting, there's energy there. Okay, where could this go? And the next minute they're gone again. So just be aware of that here, Leo, because I feel like this person is uh, stuck right now. They're going to keep doing it. It's not something that's going to change, even if they say it will. I feel like whoever's guides are here with me, they're very, uh, they feel very sure about this. No second chances, I just heard. Move along. <laughs> whoever's guides these are very like, matter of fact, like, okay, no, next, thank you. Like, they're like, no, we don't have time for this. That's what I feel like they're saying to you, Leila. We don't have time for this. Um, it's, it's tricky, right? It can be hard because when there's emotions involved, it's not so easy, but your I feel like your guides are really, really asking you to see it for what it is. Cause it's pretty clear. If you watch this person's actions and you really observe them for what they are, I, I love this one quote that I read and I'm probably going to get it wrong when I say it, but don't fall in love with people's potential, right? Fall in love with what they're showing you. And if this person's showing you they're in and out, they're hot and cold, that they're lying, you feel like they're lying. They could even have another connection that they're, uh, I just heard connections, that they're keeping you know, as an option, what have you, they don't want commitment. They kind of just give you like half truths, partial truths and come in and out. Like it's like, the, but, but in your mind you say, okay, but this person could be a really good person. Of course they could be. I feel every, I feel believe everyone could be, but right now this person's not interested in that. Let's see their intentions towards you. What is this person's intentions towards Leo? The King of Wands. They're definitely physically attracted to you. They definitely want a physical connection here. We have the Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, the Fool. Interesting. Aries energy. Um, this person still wants their independence. The Nine of Pentacles is coming out again. This is someone who, it's almost like... This person doesn't mind moving things really fast as well, especially physically. I feel like they're, they have no problem doing that. And that's, that, that's not a judgment. That's just an observation, right? But I feel like this person likes their, their independence. They don't want commitment here. And I feel like when it comes to you here, Leo, they just want to leave everything that's happened in the past, which can be a, a beneficial thing at times, but it's almost like this person doesn't want to take accountability. That's how it's coming across here. It's like, let's just not talk about it. Let's just move on. Like, no big deal, fresh page, which, you know, as a forgiving person, I feel like it could be like, okay, no problem. But if this is like the second, third, fourth, fifth time that this person is doing this, I feel like this is why your guides are like, okay, move it along. Like there's plenty of fish in the sea kind of deal because I feel like this person is, they're not changing anytime soon here, Leo. And when I channel these messages, sometimes a stern energy comes through and I feel like whosoever guides these are spirits really like they're very matter of fact right now like I feel like I I'm not questioning anything it's just, okay move along like that's it it there's no but what if this or what if that or let's see it's just like no 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 that's how it feels right now of course everyone's journey is different take what resonates with you but that's how it's coming through to me this energy right now it's very like stern out of out of love I have to say so this person wants to move things forward with you they definitely do there's a lot of communication coming in they feel they're very attracted to you they definitely want to physically connect with you but they also just want to leave anything in the past in the past let's not talk about it right there's no communication here there's a lot of passion but this person doesn't want to talk they don't want to communicate and when they do it's, it's just like flirting it's very light uh surface level communication here is how it feels so let's see the potential outcome. What's the potential outcome between Leo and this person? So we have the Six of Swords and we have the Star. Right away, the Six of Swords, and I see the Eight of Cups at the bottom, right? Like walking away here. Um, the Six of Swords is about moving to a better space mentally, right? And it's argued that spirit is actually the one guiding the boat, right? So I feel like there's healing here. Whatever has happened in this connection, you're going to heal from it. You're going to move into a better space. And I feel like spirit's really kind of guiding you as well away. I feel like away from this individual, from their energy, because remember when we connect with people, when we talk with them, when we share our energy with them, when we spend time with them, when we physically connect, you create an energetic cord between you and that person. So even if you're not physically together, you can still feel their energy. 
So there could be a cord cutting um, that could be beneficial. I'll post one down below in the description. But I feel like spirit's helping you to move away from this energy because uh, it's, it's not serving you. It's not serving you. That's how, that's how it feels here, Leo. And, I, and I, don't, I don't mean to be harsh, but I noticed that the candle has gone out too. I don't know when that just happened. I can just see the pile of hot wax there, but it's just like, it's, it's done, right? It's done. Um, that's how it feels. No matter how long this was, right? Whether it was a couple weeks or a couple months or a couple years, like I just feel like, and obviously it's much harder to let go of something when you've invested so much time and so much energy, but I feel like spirit's really wanting you to move away from this to heal because there is hope for new here. Um, tell me about that star, actually, because I feel like this is, tell me about the star. Yeah, there, there could be an opportunity that you'll miss out on if you focus only on this doesn't even have to be a love opportunity. It could be like a work opportunity. If, you're, if your mind is so wrapped up in this situation, it, you could be missing out on even just fun with friends, right? Good times for yourself. Um, so I feel like Spirit's wanting you to move into a space of healing here. So it could be an Aquarius. It could be an Aries, Capricorn, Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Taurus, Virgo. I think I said that already. Aries, Leo, Sag, yeah. But there's not a lot of water here right? There's the death card, the Scorpio energy, but there's not a lot of water because this person's not really in tune with their emotions. How will, um, how will Leo know who this is? We have the sun. They could be another Leo. I feel like things are going to come to light. You're, you're going to understand. We have the Empress, Taurus energy. So it could be, um, we have the nine of cups. There's, there's, this is the thing. I feel like this person could make you really happy. There could even be a pregnancy involved in some way here with the Empress energy. There's a lot of joy here. That's what I feel is conflicting about this because this person, I feel, makes you feel really good when it's good. But their intentions and the way that they feel about you is that they're, I feel like they're still lying about something. And I feel like they go back and forth and they ghost and they're, they're, they're in and out with their energy here. So I feel like a lot of things are going to come to light here. Um, I could even feel like if there's a pregnancy involved that that, that soul, that child or children, if it's, if it's multi, of like a pregnancy with multiple like twins or something, will shift. How do I put that? Will shift how you view love. If that makes sense. How will Leo know who this is? Is there any other indicator? Yeah, look. The lovers and the two of cups. This is definitely a soulmate. This is definitely someone that you could be in love with. Right? Could be a Gemini. This is someone that you're meant to come across here. This is someone that you're supposed to be with in order to learn here. Because I feel like there's, the, the, there's like this deeper healing going on here with this connection, right? I just feel like this is teaching you so much about yourself, about love, about self-love here, about self-empowerment. Just because it's the Empress doesn't mean you have to be a female, right? Um, but you're gonna know who this person is because you're gonna be in love with them. You're gonna have strong feelings for them. You're gonna feel like this is it, but I feel like this person is, is here to teach you about self-worth, about self-love, about boundaries, like whatever it might be. What should Leo do? Any advice for Leo? We have the seven of wands. Protect your energy. Protect your energy. There's so many different ways to do this. Um, for instance, like I wear a black tourmaline bracelet for block saying it. Make sure you wear it on your left hand side as well. Um, you know, you can ask your guides, your angels for protection. You can put salt in your corners of your room. We can picture like a, a bubble literally like this around you. The, the sage is still going. This is energy that needs to be cleared here. Um, protect your energy. This is what they're asking you to do. Protect your energy, whatever that looks like. Even if it's like physically moving away, energetic cord cutting. I'll, like I said, I'll post that down below. Um, whatever that looks like. Um, messages for Leo. This is a really strong reading, Leo. 
We have carrot, opportunity or windfall. So I, again, I feel like there's there could be an opportunity right in front of you that you might miss if you're still caught up in this, in this, whatever this is. Bridge, successfully overcoming a problem. So you will overcome this. And we have dark man, dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. So could be you, could be them, could be both. Could be if they're still connected with someone else there. Take it as it resonates. We have dagger, fear, worries, tense situations. Pay attention to how you feel after you spend time with someone, right? Or if you only feel good when they're physically around you and then they leave and you get all this worry about what they're doing, where they're going, that's also a sign too. We have woman, dealings a relationship with a woman. So we have dark man, we have woman. <clears throat> There's definitely hidden messages for you here, Leo. So let's see what those are. Messages for Leo, please, right away. I wish I could take back my words. So they definitely have regrets around something they said to you here. Messages for Leo, please, spirit. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Mm-hmm. My focus is on my life. I can't be bothered to worry about you. This is what I'm saying. This person loves their independence, how they feel and their intentions to maintain their independence here, do what they want when they want to do it. Um, I feel unbalanced and uneasy. I don't know what to do to fix it. So this person, I feel like internally is going through more than um, it appears. Finding out the truth crushed me. That could even be how you felt. I feel cold and detached from this connection. I can't feel emotions right now. Like I said, there's no emotions on the board. I feel overwhelmed. I'm drowning in my own thoughts. Messages for Leo, please. Thank you. I cannot listen to your voice. It affects my soul. I am finally seeing my worth, yet I still feel unworthy of your love. That could even be, again, how you have, how this person has come to me. Do you feel like they're like, there's something, remember, the way people treat us is a projection of them, not us. Right? So if someone's not giving you what you need in a connection, it's not because you're not worthy of their attention or their time or their effort. That's just something that they need to deal with. It's too late. I've moved on and do not wish to reconnect. Messages for Leo. Thank you. I mean, I am embarrassed by my actions and feel disgusted with myself. I also feel like this is not something this person will say out loud or admit out loud. I feel alone and in the dark. Where is my light? And then I cannot give you what you want or deserve. I'm sorry. And then I see I knew I was losing you, but I didn't do anything to fight for you. I just feel like this person has a lot of healing to do. And again, we all do. But I just feel like there's levels to healing, right? Um, and this person is operating from their ego. We have coffin, new beginnings, liberation, reborn and transition, tragic endings. So just remember that through endings, there's always, there's a new beginning to be had, right? We have self-indulgence, self-worth and value, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. So I feel like Spirit's really asking you to tune into you. We have passion, insane chemistry, sparks and having fun, equal interest, burning desire. Yeah, all this fire on the board, this person, there's a lot of passion here. Um, just be aware, you know, kind of reflect on what's the difference between love and lust. Right? How will I know when I'm when I'm experiencing one versus the other? And as I don't know if the camera's catching it, but the sage is still going. So this is heavy energy that needs to clear out. Poker face, taking a chance, risks and options, not showing hand, gambling. <clears throat> Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation, struck by love. I mean, you got the lovers and the two of cups here. This person makes you really happy for I feel 
you know, or there's there's an awareness here of, I honestly feel like if there's a pregnancy, there's just like this almost like an epiphany of, you know, whoever whoever the baby is or the, the souls are that like I feel like there's a deep deep connection there um, we do have wedding rings union and marriage soul connection everlasting love devotion there's definitely a soul connection here for sure there could have been marriage involved here take it as it resonates um, messages for Leo Thank you. We have Elder. Move beyond ancestral patterns. Wow, this is a very powerful card. Because when we think about what it's actually saying, you know, if we find ourselves in the type of connection that, it, again, isn't serving us for whatever reason, and then we start to look at maybe our parents' connections, or our grandparents' connections, or even our siblings, people around us, and we start to realize, wait a second, we've, we kind of all... For instance, like if someone, you know, has a partner who leaves every weekend and, you know, does whatever they do on the weekends and there's little communication, but that same person invites, say, you know, their, their dad over for the weekend because the mom is always gone every weekend. So kid and dad are hanging out on the weekend while partner and mom are out partying or whatever they're doing, right? Gone on the weekend. And so that's a, that's a generational pattern, right? It's like, I've seen that growing up. Now I'm in the same type of connection and it feels normal to me because this is just all I know, right? But, but this card is saying move beyond ancestral patterns. So if there's someone here again, who's, who goes, who's in and out, what have you, maybe it's not something that happens in your family. Maybe it is, maybe it's something you've seen with friends, take it as it resonates, but it's just, it's a, it's a push to move towards the healing right move towards healing here and the way we we heal is become aware of what needs to be healed in the first place i feel very passionate <laughs> about this message leo so your guides are really trying to get through to you i feel really trying to communicate with you so pay attention to dreams you know uh, visions throughout the day if you just have like a reoccurring thought um but this is your the universe the spirit trying to talk to you here powerful message there wow uh, messages for Leo, please. Thank you. We have compromise. So learning to balance here. And then we have unlikely. So if you were at... <laughs> uh, they just said a compromise might be unlikely with this person. So, I mean, take that as it resonates, right? You could have been asking yourself a question and the answer could be unlikely. Maybe those aren't related, but that's what I just heard when I put those two cards together. Uh, messages for Leo. Thank you. Your hard work is paying off, Capricorn energy. You're very close to achieving your goals. So two cards back to back, like whatever you're doing, keep going. It's working. Be bold and make the first move, even if that move is to move away from something. Adjustments are required. Okay, so let's see. Spirit messages for Leo, please right away okay we have unfinished symphony number 10 before even reading from the book there's kind of an idea of what this might look like this might be a cycle with someone right or again and a generational pattern that's been going on um let's see When unfinished business casts a shadow over your life it is a reminder that procrastination is a form of self-sabotage it's not in your best interest to stall. Even stumbling forward is better than holding back. Don't overthink things or let yourself get distracted. Just tie up any loose ends and deliver the results. Don't quit before the finish line. Spirit wants you to win. Beautiful message. They're also asking me to read the relationship message, so I will. Moving on is difficult when love lingers. Things are left unsaid and you haven't had the opportunity for closure in your relationship and in your heart. You can still feel bound up in relationships when closure is denied you. It's important to achieve this for yourself. Write that letter, make that call, or have that conversation over a cup of coffee. For peace of mind, accept matters as they are, make amends if need be, and declare your feelings even if only to yourself. 
Be clear about what was left unresolved and close the door on the past so you can set yourself free. Only then can new love blossom. So there's a real heavy theme here about like moving towards healing, right? Moving beyond ancestral patterns, moving into healing and the potential outcome says you are. So whatever you're doing, your hard work is paying off. Keep going. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That L got away from me. I feel the need to take it, so I will. So these could be initials of you, of this person, um, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates. Take it as it resonates. But if something here doesn't resonate, it doesn't mean that this wasn't your reading. So we have L, K, R, K, R. They're like glowing for me right now. Um, T, O, the number three, and the number four. Okay, so I do hope something here resonated with you, Leo. If it did, oh, they're telling me that number 10 is really important too. And 10s in the tarots are like the last step, right? Um, okay, sorry. Um, I do hope something here resonated. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. Love and light.